Since the sad news of musical legend Tito Jackson's death has been publicized, online sources have shared more information about what happened before he passed. According to a People magazine article, Tito, who shared a final picture on social media days before his demise, was at a shopping center in New Mexico when things took a dark turn. A press release from the Gallup Police Department, which people obtained, states that Tito, who died at 70 on September 15th, suffered a medical emergency at the shopping center earlier that night. An officer from the Gallup Police Department was reportedly alerted that a person near the American Heritage Plaza required medical attention and had promptly called for an ambulance. This took place around 6.15 p.m. on the Sunday Tito passed. After the individual was transported to a local medical facility, he was pronounced dead and was later identified as Toriano Tito Jackson, Tito's full name. Although the police report did not disclose Tito's cause of death, preliminary investigations are still underway. This also means that investigators are still analyzing electronic and physical evidence and witnesses are still being interviewed. When the public first heard about Tito's sudden death, it was initially reported that the Jackson 5 icon had died while driving back from New Mexico to Oklahoma. At this time, his cause of death, as is the case now, had not been listed. However, a longtime family friend and former manager of the Jacksons named Steve Manning shared how he believes Tito passed due to a heart attack. After Tito's death had been confirmed, the late artist's three sons, Taj, Terrell, and TJ Jackson, paid a heartfelt tribute to him on Instagram, which honored their dearly missed father's everlasting impact and legacy. They wrote, We are shocked, saddened, and heartbroken. Our father was an incredible man who cared about everyone and their well-being. Some of you may know him as Tito Jackson from the legendary Jackson 5. Some may know him as Coach Tito, or some know him as Papa T. Nevertheless, he will be missed tremendously. The post was accompanied by a series of photos featuring Tito posing with the Jackson 5, as well as with his sons. Additional images captured moments from various stages of his life, including time spent as a father playing with his children, performing on stage with his guitar, and enjoying moments of relaxation with friends. His son's heartfelt tribute also emphasized how it would always be Tito time for them and encouraged others to follow their late father's message of love and kindness. Additionally, they expressed deep affection for Tito and the lasting impact of his words. Like Taj, Terrell, and TJ, fans around the world are mourning Tito's passing and have sent condolences to the late star's sons. The three sons, who are part of the band 3T, will carry on their father's musical legacy through their own work, further honoring Tito's influence and impact on their lives and careers. Aside from being a doting dad, Tito, who was married to Dee Dee Jackson, remained a fierce advocate for his brother Michael Jackson's legacy. Before he died, Tito spoke about how every time he stepped on stage, he felt Michael's presence and often saw his smile reflected in children's faces. Even more than a decade after Michael's passing, Tito continued to feel his loss deeply. In August 2024, he said, The world was not kind to Michael at all. I don't know why. I would always say if we didn't have him, we sure would miss him. His death was such a major tragedy. Tito, who adored Michael, added, The world definitely missed out on a lot of goodness from him because he wasn't just a musician or an artist. He was a loving person. He loved to give. When it came to celebrating his brother, Tito often encouraged fans to come together and enjoy music. He firmly believed his late brother still reigned as the king of pop, as Michael's timeless music still ensures the endurance of his legacy to this day. Tito was confident that Michael's influence would remain immortal and would continue to inspire generations. Like Michael, Tito, who was also an actor and producer, was dedicated to his craft. He had no intention of leaving the stage while he was still alive, noting, I plan to be like B.B. King, play music until I die, like Frank Sinatra or Sammy Davis Jr. or Dean Martin. It's fun, it's peace of mind, it's pleasure. 
I think, for an artist, music extends their lives. Tito always emphasized the love and positivity that flowed through his music, distancing it from negative themes like profanity or disrespect. He believed music could uplift and inspire, and he consistently supported projects created by his family, embodying these values in his work and presence. The inspirational musician was last photographed on September 9th, 2024, in Munich, Germany, just six days before his passing. His sighting was ahead of a scheduled performance by the current lineup of the Jacksons, which also includes his brothers, Jackie and Marlon Jackson. On September 12th, Tito posted a photo of him, Jackie, and Marlon visiting Michael's memorial site in Munich, which they went to before their scheduled show. Unbeknownst to him and countless people around the globe, this would be Tito's last photo that he shared on Instagram. Capturing the essence of family and brotherhood, Tito, Jackie, and Marlon took a trip down memory lane when they spent some time at Michael's Grand Monument. The structure is covered in a shrine of pictures of the late thriller hitmaker, flowers, heart trinkets, and candles. Some of the photos on the monument featured nostalgic images of Michael and his loved ones, including his brothers. In Tito's post, he, Marlon, and Jackie gazed at the memorabilia with what looked to be expressions of love and pride as they reminisced over the memories. Before our show in Munich, my brothers Jackie, Marlon, and I visited the beautiful memorial dedicated to our beloved brother, Michael Jackson. We're deeply grateful for this special place that honors not only his memory, but also our shared legacy. Thank you for keeping his spirit alive, captioned Tito alongside the picture. Before the start of the Jackson 5, Tito's musical talents were first recognized by his late father, Joseph, Joe Jackson, when he was just eight years old. Fans who saw Tito's emotional last photo after they heard about the star's passing took to the post comment section to express themselves. With your brother now, Tito, my heart is broken, penned a grieving fan. Another said, rest in peace, Tito Jackson. You are with Michael now. We will honor you both forever. Thank you for everything, remarked an admirer. Someone else noted, a fitting final post. The late Indiana native, who was born on October 15, 1953, forged an incredible career during his lifetime. According to Tito's biography on the Jacksons' website, as the third eldest of the Jackson siblings, he was often credited for the start of the extremely popular band he performed in with his brothers. While he was well known for being the guitarist of the Jackson Five, he also used his low voice to compliment his brother's falsetto notes. Before the start of the Jackson Five, Tito's musical talents were first recognized by his late father, Joseph Joe Jackson, when he was just eight years old. One day, Joseph, from whom Tito said he inherited his talents, discovered a broken string on his guitar, which eventually led him to figure out that his then eight-year-old son had been playing it every day. After asking Tito to play the guitar for him, Joseph, who used to be the lead in his blues band, The Falcons, found himself impressed by his son's talents. The late Jackson Patriarch was also impressed by the vocal abilities of his other sons, Jermaine and Jackie, and as a result, began envisioning a musical group career for them. By the time 1967 rolled around, Tito, Jermaine, Jackie, Marlon, and Michael became known as the Jackson Five. Outside of the beloved music group, Tito also worked on his own projects. During his career, he worked with his iconic sisters, Janet, LaToya, and Rebby Jackson, as well as fellow entertainment industry heavy hitters like Babyface, Louisiana Reed, and Howard Hewitt. The late musician had also served as an executive producer in season one of A&E Network's reality show, The Jacksons, A Family Dynasty, in 2010. In 2016, Tito's first solo, Get It Baby, made its way onto the Billboard charts, which made him the ninth and final Jackson sibling to have a solo single on the charts. His victory was followed by the release of more singles in his debut album, Tito Time. Three years ago, 2021, Tito released his second album, Under Your Spell, a body of work that featured an array of talented artists. The Jackson family is one of the most iconic musical dynasties in history, 
with the Jackson 5 and Michael Jackson dominating the charts and changing the face of pop music. However, beneath the glittering surface of fame and success, lavish lifestyles, poor investment choices, and personal legal battles contributed to their downfalls, transforming their once lucrative careers into a series of challenges. Tito, known as the talented guitarist of the Jackson 5, played a key role in the group's meteoric rise to fame during the 1970s. However, after the group's peak, his journey took a challenging turn as he faced financial struggles that starkly contrasted his earlier success. Despite continuing his passion for music with a blues and jazz band, Tito's post-Jackson 5 career didn't provide the financial security he once enjoyed. According to reports, his gigs, often at small venues, brought in between $500 and $1,500 per show, a modest sum compared to the grand performances of the Jackson 5. Sadly, on September 15, 2024, Tito Jackson tragically passed away while driving from New Mexico to Oklahoma. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Please like and share my videos. And don't forget to subscribe my channel for latest update and bell button for notification.